In this video, we're going to learn how to create a directory using C on a Windows machine with the direct.h library. If we were using a Unix-like system, we would probably use the POSIX library to achieve the same functionality. The first thing we'll do is include the direct.h library. And this library includes a function called underscore mkdir. We just pass this function a string with the name of the directory that we want to create. So I'll pass a string with test as the string contents. Now I'm using Visual Studio here. And when we're using Visual Studio, the current working directory is going to be the project directory. So right now that directory has the file demo.c, but there's no directory called test. Let's try to run the program and see what happens. So we'll save and then we'll compile and run our program. And right now the program has no actual output but it should have created a directory called test. So let's check that working directory again to see if there's a directory called test now. And there is. So that's basically how the function works. Now the function can detect when an error has occurred. So for example, if we try to create a directory that already exists, that will cause an error. The function will return negative one if there's an error. So we could check for that. We'll make a variable called retval and we'll set it equal to the return value of this underscore mkdir function. And we'll check to see if it's negative one. So if the return value is negative one, we're going to print out that make directory failed, followed by a new line. And we're going to return one as an error status to the console. Otherwise, we'll print out that make directory succeeded, followed by a new line. So we'll save this. And if we try to compile and run it now, we actually expect an error because the directory test already exists. So we'll compile it and run it. And now we get make directory failed. And that's because that directory test already exists. If we had another directory name like test two here instead, then it should work. So we can save it, compile it and run it and now we get make directory succeeded. So we can detect if an error has occurred or not. And of course, if we check to see whether the directory is there or not, it will be there. So there is a directory now called test two as well. Now we can also detect exactly which type of error has occurred as well if we include the errno.h library. So we'll include that library, include errno.h. So if there's an error, a global ERRNO variable will be set to a value that represents the error that has occurred. And there's a couple macros we can check for, basically predefined constants, to determine which error has occurred. So let's say that an error has occurred, and now we'll check the ERRNO variable. So if ERRNO is equal to E exist. This error will occur if the directory already exists. And we could print out more error information here. So we could say directory already exists, followed by a new line. And right now we already have a directory called test2. So if we save and compile and run our program, we'll get back make directory failed, and now directory already exists because we've identified the exact error that has occurred. So we can handle specific errors then. Another type of error that can occur is if the path is not found. So we can say here else if ERRNO is equal to, and the constant for this is ENO ENT. And in this case here, we could print out path not found. So the directory we give here as an argument doesn't have to be a relative path from the current working directory. It can be an absolute path. So for example, on my system, I have a directory called test. So we could go to the command prompt again. And if I change to that directory, we can see that right now there's nothing in the test directory. We could use an absolute path here to specify the directory to create. So we could say C drive colon. I'm going to put two backslashes here because remember the backslash is a special character in a string that we normally use for things like newline or tab. 
if I want an actual backslash character in my string, I have to put two. Then I'll say test and then backslash backslash and I'll have ABC. So we'll save this and then compile and run our program. And it says make directory succeeded. And if we go and check out that directory again, we're going to find that there's a directory ABC inside of it now. So we can also create directories this way with an absolute path. Now we could have a bad absolute path. So I have no directory called bad test that doesn't exist. If we save this and then try to compile and run our program, we're going to get make directory failed path, not found. And that's because I have no bad test directory on my system. So this is how we can create a directory using C on a Windows machine with the direct.h library and the underscore mkdir function. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.